Hi, I'm Ingrid Solo, and it's my talk. Dominating the conversation this week was the famed Gorilla Girl story. But I want to say that this story is part of a larger ongoing conversation that of the impact of social media on body image, especially on the image of girls and women. Since this conversation began on TikTok, there is where we will start. Named Duyan in China, its place of origin, TikTok was the most downloaded app from the Apple Store in the early part of 2019. By 2020, there were almost 1 billion TikTok users worldwide. 14 million in the US alone. TikTok, like other forms of social media, seems to cause its adherents to live in an alternate reality in which they are non-verbally coerced to compensate, compensate for perceived inadequacies. They are manipulated to present to the world that which would be perceived as a perfected, flawless version of themselves. The notorious Gorilla Glue Girl is a case in point. Tessica Brown, the Gorilla Glue Girl, used the Gorilla Glue adhesive to create what she thought was a perfect ponytail look. It I ran in the kitchen, ran past the refrigerator, and there was the Gorilla Glue spray, you know, on top of the refrigerator. I'm like, you know what? I, I in the end, this adhesive, which was not meant to be used on the body, had to be surgically removed from her hair. Hmm. Wendy Williams, talk show host, called it stupidity. I blame it on the pull of social media with its need to present perfected bodies. What do you think? This incident takes place against the backdrop of media and social image discourses. In essence, the Gorilla Glue Girl and social media's perfection requirements story reads like an exposition on body image. Taking pills to lose weight. Six packs. The CrossFit. Thigh gaps. How big my legs are. Slender bodies. My weight. Flawless makeup. I wish I looked like Kylie Jenner. Images. Young girls. Maybe. Presentations on social media can trigger negative body image comparisons in the vulnerable. Young women especially are bombarded with images of how they should look. The impact of these image images of beauty as paraded on social media is almost equivalent of unrolling in a course on the aesthetics of beauty only that this enrollment is key to sending subliminal messages that are promotional of dissatisfaction with one's appearance it is unfortunate that as a group women more than men tend to internalize these images and aspire to take no, to taking on their likenesses, thus self-objectifying and de becoming depersonalized. The importance of creating awareness, therefore, cannot be overstressed. The Gorilla Glue Girl story is just the tip of the iceberg. It is critical that we address the underlying issue to bring awareness to young girls who seem to be more at risk than their male peers, as we said before. And since TikTok is most popular among the 14 to 34 age group, this group should be made primary targets of such protocols. Awareness protocols will take the form of education. Such education should aim at transforming this vulnerable population from being passive recipients of media communications to being critical ones that is quite important 
this education should take place in our schools and our homes we should be primary value setters or offsetting influences to reductive limiting identity message since they are reductive of self-worth at home at home parents can nurture positive body identity conceptions these conceptions should then be modeled by parents and how they view women in their conversation objects and other kinds of things they gravitate towards in this mothers and fathers need to be supportive of each other educating girls that images shown as ideal on TV and promoted in social media are for the most part unreal and manufactured is imperative yeah a lot of the time i look at myself in the mirror and it's like oh i'm not as pretty as the people in the magazines and it makes you feel really really pressured it is important that our girls know that it is unrealistic for them to gravitate to such inauthentic images of reality not only this but these girls should be aware that such indulgence could be damaging physically, emotionally, and even cause psychic scarring. The gorilla girl indulged in the perfected image cult in the interest of being a TikTok social media influencer, influencer with physically damaging effects. Girls, daughters, nieces, and cousins need to feel good about how they look in their homes where they should learn that they are enough, that is where they should learn. There should be a focus on letting our girls know who they are and that they should stand firm in that positive identity. Families and communities also need to refrain from sexualizing the young. It's not cute. It's more cute to build up their self-confidence. In, in our schools, our girls and young women need to be taught to be critically analytic of media communication and body comparisons should be disallowed. Instead, schools should have programs that motivate self-acceptance and reject stereotyped ideals of beauty. With this kind of intervention protocol, this demographic of girls and young women will develop self-awareness and would be transformed into girls and young women who are consistently cognizant of what is and is not working for them. Now, such education would build positive self-esteem in our girls and make them self-monitoring and advocates for themselves and their own needs. Then our once vulnerable population will be well armed to be evaluative of social media's unrealistic requirements as they would be equipped to evaluate and question the truthfulness and accuracy and critically truth with such images and information with, with which they will be bombarded. Meanwhile, Gorilla Girl Tessa Brown, what she said post-surgery is instructive. When asked, what do you now see in the mirror, she answered, I see Tessa Brown, not that image, pointing to her pre-surgery image of herself. What do you see when you look in that mirror? Tessica. You see Tessica. Tessica. Not the Tessica. 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 Tessica.